A couple months ago, I anonymously polled a group of designers and asked them questions like, how much money are you making? What platforms are performing the best? All that fun stuff. I have an entire video on that if you want to see the results. But today, I want to talk about platforms that are performing the best for designers currently. So let's get started. <laughs> So in my poll, I asked what platforms people sell on. The top sites that people sell on are Etsy, Cricut, Design Bundles, Personal Website, and Creative Fabrica. Those are kind of the top five websites. But of those websites, people are making the most money on Etsy. About 40% of respondents said Etsy was their number one profitable site. It just slightly beat out second place, chalk that up to both of these platforms being like the ideal place for digital SVG files. Now, should be noted most people are selling SVGs, PNGs, things like that, crafty type of things. There are some people selling patterns and printables and other things like that, which obviously you can sell on Etsy, but you can't sell on Cricut. So when you look at the respondents who chose Etsy as their number one site, the overall design revenue varied greatly. So it should be noted here that this revenue is for their entire design business and not just Etsy. So this isn't precise on here's exactly how much you're making on Etsy per month, but it can kind of give you a picture on okay, here's the people who say Etsy's doing the best and here's kind of their overall business. Without saying, hey, what website do you sell on and how much are you making on that website? Also, how much are you making on your entire business? Like, I didn't want to be too invasive with my questioning. So we have to kind of just use some deductive reasoning and we have to just kind of look at it broadly. Of respondents who chose Etsy as their top site, like I said, the overall income varies greatly. 20% are making $100, 20% are making zero to 100. Another 20% is making 250 to 500. Another 20% is making 1,000 to $2,000 a month. You have 10% doing 100 to 250. Another 10% doing 750 to 1,000. And then another 10% is 2,000 to 4,000. And then another 10% is 4,000 plus. So I think what you can learn from this is that being on Etsy, you're not guaranteed to be rich. But if you are on Etsy, it can potentially help you become one of those people who are making 2,000 plus dollars a month on design. So my biggest takeaway from all of this is that I need to get back on Etsy and like start taking it seriously because I know consumer behavior is to go to where is comfortable. And if you ask a group of a hundred people, where should you find digital files? Where should you go to for SVGs? I'm willing to bet more than half of them are gonna say Etsy. It's kind of like a pros and cons, like it's so well known, but there's so much competition. So just because you put your stuff on there doesn't mean it's gonna sell. So you do have to put in some work. I'm just realizing that maybe I shouldn't have fully taken a break from Etsy and kind of maybe reinvest some of my time there because as you can see, it has potential to be worth it. Cricut came in second place, just barely being knocked out of first place. It was neck and neck with Etsy. The difference here, however, is that Cricut only sells SDGs and PNGs. So you can't sell any other digital files here. Also, it's very limited to who they are selecting. The program is still very new. I don't see it going away anytime soon. If you wanna hear my thoughts on the Cricut Cap program, I have videos on my one month experience and my one year experience. I will link the one year one up above. When you look at the revenue for those who said Cricut was their top site, their overall monthly profit is a lot lower than those who said Etsy was their top site. A third of the people are in the $100 to $250 range. Another third are in the $250 to $500 range. You have 16% saying $1,000 to $2,000, 8% saying 2,000 to 4,000 and another 8% saying 500 to 750. So I guess you could say that if Cricut's your number one and maybe it is where all your time and effort is, you're not gonna be making 4,000 plus. I mean, you potentially could be. People who are selling on Cricut are still doing well, making $500 a month, $1,000 a month. That's still really impressive. So I wouldn't write this off as don't be on Cricut. I would just say that maybe Cricut's doing way better for some people on Etsy and maybe it's vice versa. So maybe that's why they're so neck and neck because they're both performing well and maybe for some people the difference is a hundred dollars on one platform i don't know my experience is that cricket is doing way better than everything else but i also don't invest as much time into other platforms. Whereas other designers who are only doing design stuff with their business, maybe they have more time to promote those other websites. It's really hard to tell without 
getting people telling me their exact situation and like the dollar amount, it's hard to really deduce like what is going on with everyone's business. I think it's important to realize that Cricut and Etsy are very profitable places to be. My takeaway, like I said, is that I just need to get back on Etsy. I think it's probably a site that I have a lot to gain if I put time into it. I just don't put time into it. Of the participants who are making over $2,000 a month, they are all working 30 hours or more on their business. So they're all working at this full time, which is really good to hear. There's a mix of personal website, Etsy, and Cricut being their top platform. Most participants are on three or more websites, but all of them are on Cricut, which is interesting. All of the top profiting people that I polled are all on Cricut. So Cricut is contributing to at least some of that. You know what I mean? You might remember from earlier that Design Bundles was the third most popular website to sell on, but of all the participants, only five people said that that was their top revenue platform. And those participants are reporting that their overall monthly income is 250 or less. So I definitely think that's worth noting that just because a site is popular doesn't mean it's profitable. Design bundles I think is well known but it's not doing the numbers it used to. I definitely think that if I did the survey in 2020, even 2021, design bundles would not only be the most popular site people are on, it would probably be the first or second place in terms of profit. But today it's not doing well at all. It has completely gone downhill and honestly I just wouldn't even waste my time on there. Those who stated that their personal website brings them the most money are honestly they're the they're doing pretty good they're mostly reporting one thousand to four thousand dollars of monthly income which leads me to believe that they probably have loyal followings and they are doing a good amount of marketing because if their website's doing the best and they're making like two thousand dollars a month their website's doing decent i mean we're talking about three dollar four dollar designs here we have to sell a lot more to make a lot of money because our products are on the lower end so i just think that if you're making that much money on your website you're doing a great job and I need to learn from you because you're doing something right obviously. While I don't really think any of these results are surprising I still found them really interesting and I hope you did as well. If you have any tips on reviving a dead Etsy shop I'd love to hear them. If you are in the same boat as me I want to know what your game plan is here like are you actually trying to get back on Etsy? Are you trying to steer clear of Etsy? If your top revenue site is not Etsy or Cricut I'd love to hear your experience and see what site is doing well for you. I hope you have a great rest of your day. I will see you next time. Bye!